Well, our next guest quit her job in corporate media to follow her dreams. She now runs a $22 million health empire that's helped mums lose over 3 million kilos. She's now got her sights set on the UK. Rianne Allen from The Healthy Mummy, the founder, of course, joins us now in the studio. Thank you very much for being with us. Um, how did The Healthy Mummy come about? Well, I was pregnant with my first child, and I said I was working in corporate media, but it wasn't something that I was really passionate about. So um, I was gaining weight in pregnancy, as, as you do when you're pregnant, and I started looking into, was there anything to help mums after um, having children to actually get healthy, and there wasn't. So that really inspired me to kind of look into, into this area. So I did research and re in the market, and I realized that mums still wanted to feel good, they wanted to look good, they wanted to have confidence, to be with their kids and be body confident. So I took a big risk, quit my job, sold my house, which was a bit crazy at the time, and um, I started the business on the 1st of October 2010. My goodness, and you've had so much success to date <laughs> as well, running a $22 million yeah. empire. Right back then, obviously, when you were sort of making all of those big decisions and corporate, you know, quitting yeah. your job at the time, did you ever think that you would be running such an empire today? Absolutely not. I, I, honestly, I would never have believed it if anyone would have told me back then. Um, um, that it would be what it what it is today. I just wouldn't have believed it, and I'm humbled literally every day to think that what we do as a business, because it's a huge team effort from everyone who works for us, and we literally do change the lives of hundreds of thousands of mums, literally, literally not just in Australia, but now we've launched in the UK and we're launching in the US next year. So it's it's pretty it's ridiculous, really. <laughs> yeah. You did start. You yes. started without any loans or investment. I mean, that's kind of crazy for a lot of I entrepreneurs know. to I think know. about. I know. It is. It I mean, is. how how was that? Well, I had no idea what I was doing for start. So, I mean, I sold my house, so I had the money. I had some, I had money to start up with. But, you know, I was an entrepreneur. I was extremely passionate about what I was doing, and I was very, very focused on, on helping mums and doing good in the world. That's what I really wanted to do. So I didn't know about finance. I didn't know about profit and loss and cash flow. I do now. <laughs> I've learned it. Um, but um, I didn't know about all those things. And for example, it took us three years to even turn a profit. And that was a huge shock. Like in year three, I was like, oh my God, have I still not made any money for myself? So, um, you know, it was, it was hard. But I think that I went in there just with so much passion and a blind faith that this would work, and I'm, I'm just forever grateful that it did. <laughs> <laughs> um, in terms of the programs, because yeah. obviously young mums that have just had babies yes. and post-pregnancy and so forth have realised that you've got some. Um, tell us a bit more about some of those programs. It's the, the Lose Baby Weight Plan. Just tell us a bit more about how it actually yeah. works. So, so with the Healthy Mummy, it really is about empowering mums to live a healthier life. And originally when it started off, it was more focused on, I suppose, weight loss for mums but I suppose one of the biggest things about the business is that it's evolved to cover all things now so right. it's really a healthy living and healthy lifestyle mm. program so yes we have weight loss plans for new mums for older mums for all mums it's really all age groups but the interesting thing about the business now is that it really does cover everything from pregnancy to kids products um, to you know active wear and we actually just launched this week a skincare range which is completely different to anything we've done and and I think that the biggest thing about the business is that the Healthy Mummy does everything based on what the customer wants. So mm. it's not me going, I've got an idea, let's go and do it. I might have 10 ideas, but I will say to the customer, and you know, we've got over one mums across our social networks and community, will say, we've got 10 ideas, which one do you want us to do? And they will vote. So it's not me just you know, having a random thought. And therefore, everything we launch and do is driven from what the customer wants and what the customer needs. And therefore, whatever we launch and do, we know it's a success before we've even launched it because mm. it's what they've asked for. Mm. Right. And so when the customer does come to you and, yeah. and looks for advice, um, yeah. do they buy a product or do they buy a subscription? I mean, yeah. how does that work? Mm. So our business is really split 50-50 between um, our digital app, which, are, which is our 28-day weight loss challenge, which is a full 28-day um, customizable meal plans, exercises, videos, support, everything you could possibly want if you do need to kind of lose weight and get healthy. It's like a PT in your pocket. So that's one half. The other half is physical product. So it ranges from healthy meal replacements, some protein, um, protein powders, vitamins, supplements, active wear, and now so we just launched skin. Everything we do is based on what they want, and we never stop launching new things because if the demand's there, and my kind of, I suppose, dedication to the customer is we will bring you something healthy, trusted, and on a budget.
It's so impressive how many sort of areas you do have covered <laughs> yes. and, and, you know, where you've actually come from. And, yeah. and you've obviously expanded as well. I yes. imagine that's quite a scary thought as well, just working out exactly how to expand your operations, yes. where to go. Yes. You are now in the UK, yes. noting that as well you're, you know, you're looking at the United States yes. very yes. soon as yes. well. Um, tell us about how that expansion went and, and at what point do you actually make the decision yeah. to move overseas? Absolutely. Well, um, so we've obviously been in Australia for eight years. And um, we had a lot of mums who were following us um, from, from the UK and from America and people have been asking us a lot, can you launch in the UK because the postage is insane sending from Australia. <laughs> But I always would say to them, it's not as easy as that. So for years and years, I've always been saying, I would love to, it's not as easy as that. Um, but last year, I sold half the business to private equity. So this was the time where I was like, now I'm able to do that because we have new investment in the business mm. to actually expand the business to new markets. So with the UK, I'm obviously from the UK. So um, one of the easiest things, I suppose, for us to do to actually test the market was to um, launch a digital app, which is our 28-day weight loss challenge app into the UK. So not taking the existing Australian app, but actually creating a new one. And we launched that. It went crazy. We had, I think, 10,000 um, mums join it in the first kind of week, which was blew our minds. Wow. Um, so that established that, that, you know, that mums do want this. Mm. We then... Um, we then set about going, okay, doing the research with the UK mums, do you want our smoothies? Do you want our meal replacement smoothies? Everyone was a definitive 100% yes. So I went over to the UK in um, June and July and we went around and we set up a, manufact a manufacturing plan. Enormous deal for us. And literally two weeks ago, we launched our smoothies there. So we're manufacturing in the UK, but we didn't do that until we had, you know, actually proved yes. there was the want for it yeah. and we will do the same in in the US as well so we'll be launching with our US app next year and then we'll follow suit oh. with our physical products yeah. afterwards. There's a lot going on there. You are you are busy Rianne but you've also found, um, partnered up with the Gidget Foundation. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about that? Yeah of course. So um, the Gidget Foundation is an incredible foundation and they help support mums and dads who suffer from postnatal depression. One in five mums suffer from postnatal depression and one in ten dads um, and it it's an enormous charity that need help. So for us, as being the healthy mummy, it seemed like you know a brilliant way that we could, as a community, and what we do, help that organisation. So this week has, P has been PNDA week, which is the national week. And so far, as of today, I think we've raised twenty-five thousand dollars for um, for the Gidget Foundation, which I'm so proud. Healthy mummies, the community, we've been able to do it. So that will make a huge difference to mums and dads who are suffering. That's absolutely brilliant. Look, Rianne, you've been such a hugely successful. <laughs> Story, and it's been wonderful talking to you this evening. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your.